that thing is low. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Love what you drive. Today we're here with my friend Gabe and Liam. Liam. And uh, where are we at? We are in Emmaus, Pennsylvania, the Lehigh County. Lehigh County? Yes, sir. Okay. Emma Emmaus. Emmaus, yes, sir. Emmaus, okay. And we're here to do what? Review my 2005 Crowdy, otherwise known <laughs> as a Grand Marquis. <laughs> uh, yes, here it is. Uh, we got in touch with Gabe over Instagram. Yes, sir. As per usual. And uh, this has been in the works for actually a few months. Yeah, a month or two now. We've been kind of going back and forth, couldn't find the right timing. Yeah, finally did, though. Finally found the time the day before Easter. Yep. Drove out here, and uh, here we are. All right, Gabe, take it away. Um, Tell us everything uh, about your car. So I guess we'll start with what's done to the front end here. I got in an accident back in October of 2023 and I now have instead of a 2005 bumper a 2006 Grand Marquis Gold bumper which doesn't line up it has fog lights but no fog lights in it and <laughs> that's it for the bumper <laughs> that's it for the bumper that's it for the bumper <laughs> uh before we go any further yes sir uh, originally when gabe reached out to me he <laughs> this said car had no bumper yeah he said um i think you might like my car because it's going to be the most clapped out one <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is like, what do i you said have one it... of those on the channel i said i do not <laughs> and this honestly might be first yep. if not maybe second to that lifted one with the turbo yeah but that's not clapped out no, that's, that's like that's a buckle yeah yeah this one uh <laughs> we like first we have one uh first night interview we have like a first lifted vig we got a first slammed vig this one uh gabe first wanted clapped. to be cl first clapped out the most clapped out and we'll get into more details as we go around <laughs> the car okay so the bumper does not fit nope i'm sure a lot of people are going to be questioning the audi badge on the grill um it's a debadged homemade grill made by sammy mack and both of my best friends drive audis so for fun slapped an audi badge on it and everyone seems to love it <laughs> yeah i mean it, uh i think i saw a picture on your instagram you're parked next to an audi yeah uh it, it silver audi yeah. yeah it gives the vibe so we'll include i'll throw that photo in <laughs> Yeah, hey, definitely like from the front end looks a little bit like, like a, a D8, A8. Yeah, like an Audi. Yeah. All right. um, what do you got for your light setup? I have just regular, I think they're off of a 2000 Crown Vic. Um, again, Sammy Mac Custom. He opened them up, took the amber lens out, and added a LED strip for the turn signal so there is no longer a bulb. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that clear corner lights it doesn't line up perfect but again car was in an accident so yeah it's all in the work still huh yep For the project any uh bulbs you're running or just stock um, collagen i am running 9007 led bulbs off of amazon but i am having an issue where it seems no matter what bulb i run the low beams come out as high beams and the high beams come out as low beams you tried flipping it i flipped it every way possible <laughs> two bulbs over <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to find a really good halogen to switch back to so if anyone has any recommendations i'll be reading the comments when yeah. the video comes out okay <laughs> perfect this is why we're here not only here to look at your car but also give advice yes please um, um it is lowered with i'm not sure the part number in the rear but bmr springs and then just some cvpi cut coils in the front okay how many uh, coils did you cut one and a half so this is one and a half coils cut and yep do you uh rub um only when there's more than one person in the car okay so when you're like loaded huh yep okay that's pretty good fit mate. and this is a completely stock size tire so this is a 225 60 16 tire obviously a smaller tire would help that out yeah but i don't have any good wheels with tires right now at the moment but you did have that nice pair what were they the i've had a couple pairs i've had some xxr 555s on it um then i went to some white cobra r's and my last set was a set of 18 inch explorer steelies okay how did those 18 inches work 
The 18 inches were perfect. They uh, had a perfect fitment yeah. there. I do have a one inch spacer all around on the car just to make it sit flush. That's why these wheels sit so flush as they okay. do. Um, but they sat perfect with that one inch spacer. No complaints for me. What, how wide was the Explore wheel? Uh, eight inch wide. Eight inch, okay. Yeah. And the stock marquees are seven inch. Yeah, okay. so it was an extra inch wide, two inches taller. Okay. Uh, I think this is the first two tone color it might be on the channel i kind of and that's factory it is factory okay. it is a light tundra ice metallic top and a gold ash metallic bottom yeah with those xxr wheels that it looks really nice they did look good the main issue was that i cracked one of them uh -huh. and just couldn't run them anymore so i sold them okay i see some uh, racing stripes all along this side <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, those came with the car those came like that that is from one of the previous owners i okay. think i am the third owner of this car yeah probably rubbed up on s or some some sort of something. pole it actually happened if you want to come back here real quick yeah. there's a dent down there oh. that also came from the old owner oh wow uh, so I wonder, it either looks like he jacked it up right there. <laughs> either hit a pole or slid oh, into okay. a ditch or something. Yeah, yeah. That's my theory. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's got black mirrors. It does have one black mirror. Okay. I <laughs> may or may not have hit a car's mirror off. Okay. And that is the result because I broke mine worse than his broke, possibly. Okay, so it's like you should have seen sorry, the other guy, right? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other side is like a brown color though. I actually used to have a Mercury Sable in the same color, so that's why that's that color. So the mirror fit from your Sable? It is a Grand Marquis mirror, oh. but just the same color. Oh, so okay, okay. I had to grab it and throw it on just for the memories. Okay, what is this sticker? Uh, Common Traffic Mafia. It is a popular brand over social media now, uh -huh. basically just promoting the fact that people with any regular old car, such as a Grand Marquis or Crown Vic, can modify it and still fit in with people with, say, Audis or like WRXs yep. and whatnot. Sure. Uh, I like these window visors. The rain guards. Rain guards. Uh, yeah, I actually got these through work. They're just the basic AVS ones, vent shade. How much did you pay for them? I think like 50, 60 bucks. Okay, because uh, Rock Auto a couple of weeks back had a closeout oh, for man. 20 bucks. Should have bought a second set. I should have bought them, but I missed out. And I kind of <laughs> keep looking back and I don't see anymore. Yeah. But yeah, those look good. I'm gonna try to pick some up. They're sometime. definitely one of my favorite things about the car. They just make them look so much better. Any car, really. Okay, I noticed you got no tint. No tint. I had tint on for 20 minutes, and <laughs> got I pulled was, over. <laughs> no, I honestly was not a fan of the tint on the car. How how dark was it? It was a 20% tint. Okay. And I got it honestly, like I said, wasn't a fan of it being dark. This car just looks good without it. Yeah, I'm it's a, one of those colors. Yeah, I'm a fan with no tint. Unless you really need it in Florida yeah. or Arizona or something. Doesn't get that hot here. I might do like a 35% at some point. Yeah. But. Uh, we're going to try to work against this wind. Yeah, we'll try. Uh, this was here or you put that there? No, this was here. Huh. Um, that's, I guess, I've been told a kind of rare factory option. Same with the color matched handles here. Okay, yeah. Not sure how true that is, but... This is a LS model? GS. GS. It is a base model. Okay, so what I've been noticing with the GS models is they sometimes they uh, option them out a little better than the... LS models or even the sometimes Ultimate yeah this one's a little weird because it does have like cruise control and whatnot and I didn't think that would be in like a but base no model. leather seats no leather seats okay um has traction control power seats on the driver's side what about pedal adjustment pedal adjustment okay yep. yeah that's what I'm saying the GS is like equipped but some LS models won't have it yeah anymore. it's really weird how they work to these cars out okay so the front is cut and back here you said B what was the uh BMR Chevelle Springs I'm not sure the exact part number because I bought them second hand. Okay. But is that can, different than the Moog? They are, they're supposed to drop an extra three quarters of an inch in the Moog. Okay. I noticed maybe half an inch, but. Yeah, this is the rear end is really low. It does. It sits a lot lower than the front. I plan on getting front coilovers at some point this year. Do you rub here? 
Uh, yeah, the main is mainly where it rubs, or the rear. How's the ride? Is it super bouncy? Not really. Um, it depends on the road you're going down. If it's a smooth road, it's, you know, kind of like stock. If it's a bad road, which most of the roads around here are, yeah. <laughs> it's not fun, but it's not bad. Okay. Do you go in the car with them? Oh, yeah. How's the ride? That's pretty smooth. <laughs> yeah, it's like I want him. It's a grand marquee. <laughs> it is. I'm trying to find more people around here, and I want him to buy one. Bad. Yeah, I like them. Extra twenty horsepower. Nice. Wiffle ball. Yeah, so this is part of the. Yeah, we don't talk about the scratches. That's why it's there to cover it. <laughs> okay. Um, the wiffle ball. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? I got a German plate that I've had since I was like 13. So again, just threw it in here because why not? And just a couple stickers, financial mistake, had one exactly like it again on my old Sable. So for the memories I had Bro, to. That is a. That came from the old owner. It's just been there? Yeah. I like part am, of the car? <laughs> yep. I'm too lazy to take the third brake light out and clean it. Yeah. That I also huge. have a bulb blown in the third brake light I have to replace at some point. Okay. Nice. Um, I like how confident and comfortable sorry. you are with your car. <laughs> Not used to. Like, oh, Mike. Don't get this side. It's the bad side. Yeah. No. It's every side of this car is pretty much the bad <laughs> side at this point. The biggest downfall of this car was me buying it two years ago. Okay. How many miles on it? It has, I think it just hit 132,000 miles. Oh, not too bad. Um, I got it with 120, 119, somewhere around there. Okay. How long you had it? Uh, I got it in October of 2021. Okay, so a couple of years. A couple of years, yeah. I remember when you first got this. Too. Man, it was super clean. Was. Only only issues was, like I said, that passenger side yeah. there. Yeah, huh. Okay, uh, all right, let's uh, tell us about the rear end because it's uh, there's like 8,000 different colors. It's a little confusing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it is a Crown Vic lx taillights i believe and then i think this came off of a cvpi car but this was a black strip and these were chrome strip so i painted them the silver just so they match yeah. and i think it looks a lot better than any chrome or black that i've seen okay um these lights you got them from where or the who? these yep um I'm gonna butcher his name, Anaz, who Anas, has the Anas, yep. yeah the O3 Gold LX that was on your channel I'll, a few months back. Yeah, I'll put a picture of his car up. Um, um, those are the factory tails off of his car. And you got them on Facebook Market? Yep, I think I bought them forty bucks, fifty bucks shipped. Yeah, so it's a small world, but small a tight world. community. <laughs> um, I did do the bumper tuck as best as I could because the tabs were broken on the bumper. Okay. Yeah. Um, we see the, sorry, what's up with the blue, the blue zip ties, yeah. my uh, charcoal canister has an aversion to staying up. Okay. So everyone, every now and then I have to zip tie it back up. So it's, you know, <laughs> actually there and doesn't trip a code. <laughs> nice. We're improvised, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I've had it held with zip ties, metal zip ties. Uh, I think a bungee cord once. The blue ones seem to do the justice. Ah, it's been up there since October like that, so. Uh, what are you running for exhaust? Um, what exhaust? Yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> it is, I chopped the... Let's see here. Yeah. I completely chopped the secondary cats off right. back. And then right now it is just three pieces of 18 inch pipe on the passenger side, two pieces of 18 inch pipe on the driver's side with a big okay. exhaust leak. Okay, so I see it like just dumping straight out right there. Yeah, it is loud and trips a code every 30, 40 miles. Does it uh, get in the way of your performance? Hey, what is that, Not check really. engine light goes on? Check engine light goes on, but I have a live data reader in the car yeah. that, oh, I'm, oh, you're good. I'm so not used to that. Um, live data Rita in the car who, whenever it pops on, I just click two buttons, code clears. Back like that. It's a <sighs> yeah. 2272 code. So literally just an exhaust leak for running too lean. Okay. So the O2 sensors are picking up battery reading, huh? Yeah. On that uh, driver's side. Okay. So all you guys out there that are driving are comfortable grand marquees with no lights. 
be jealous. <laughs> this I should be the, the one that's jealous. This guy's on the adventure every time he gets in this car. The exhaust on the driver's side is actually held up currently with 10 metal zip ties. 10, 10 metal zip ties. 10 metal zip ties, an entire pack. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, it broke off last Friday after going to a car meet and I let it drag until Wednesday. And by the point that I went to go fix it, it had broken off right after the uh, first cat. So zip ties it is until I can find someone yeah. to weld it. Is that when you uh, tried to do the burnout? <laughs> no, that was when I ramped over all of the uh, gas things at Speedway. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, and then we got just that one rust spot. From just what that I see. one speck of rust, and then obviously the underside has surfaced rust. But in the back, I saw not that much. No, it that's is a pretty good. fairly clean car. Yeah. I do want to at some point do like the poor 15 and like undercoat it, just yeah. because I genuinely want to keep this car forever. Um, like I said, I do have an entire front end for this car, yeah. and color matched fenders was one of those things that I found for this car that was like so you are planning to bring this thing back to life hopefully to by the end of this year glory <laughs> hopefully by the end of this year yes i'm so cool super stoked about the uh custom split bumper yeah liam's gonna liam right yeah sorry he's gonna he's a body guy so he's gonna be uh guiding he's gonna be helping me with yeah, it this a decent amount with the, so. i'm not letting him paint it no, no. But he'll help me fix it rattle up can and, or something yeah maybe <laughs> rattle can your bunkers man yeah okay um any future plans besides uh like you said the front end and anything um, you're planning to do side skirts at some point i plan on getting a bigger shop because the one that i have currently does not fit this car at all okay and once that happens this car is getting completely torn apart and i am going to do a built motor with yeah it. okay well okay once we get under the hood you can tell us all about the built motor bone stock Right we'll stock right now, but we gotta still look. Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah, of course. You might actually want to catch this, uh, Liam. I need you to pull up on the hood because my hood latch is broken. Oh. So this is a two-man job. Nice. So my, I gotta get new struts, hood struts for mine. I found some when Rock Auto actually was doing their closeout sale. I got them for like four bucks a piece for this because nice. they were out for the longest time. Okay, so they work well. They work extremely well. Um. It is stock with a little bit of the uh, ricey touch of a red <laughs> engine cover because R, why not? R for racing? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, I am missing a clip. So oh, yes. I'll point that out before you do. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good catch. Um, this guy watches my videos. <laughs> Thank you for the support. <laughs> of course. Like I said, it is completely stock. Uh, the only thing I've really done is a 200 amp alternator because okay. I do have a 12 inch sub in the back. Nice. What is, like this thing is like a little cap. Below. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen a lot of different caps. I've seen this, this is, I think only on the other, one other car. I'm not sure what cap it's from. It's a CarQuest alternator. So Zen. I figured it would be a CarQuest cap, yeah. but. But it says Zen on it. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that red wire is uh, to your uh, The amp big red right? wire is to the amp, correct? Yep. And then this mumbo jumbo of wiring is for the corner lights okay all right it's actually kind of clean under here yeah it's not bad yeah. it does need to be washed at some point but i'll deal with that when the motor's out yeah looks good stock uh plugs wires i um, have to do anything i have not done the plugs and wires yet only thing i do is regular air filters every 10 15 000 miles yeah actually have to replace it since i'm coming up around 10 maybe past 10 now um and then every 5 000 miles i change the oil yeah okay we gotta ask let me see your oil filter you know where i'm going with this i do not no are you a motorcraft guy I am a whatever I can get for work for free. Yep. <laughs> I think that's currently a pure later filter. Okay. Um, but I do have, waiting when I need to do it, a full set of Motorcraft, Motorcraft. spark plugs. Yes, those are nice. So okay. I did prepare with the spark plugs. And what does this do here? The, uh, the leaves. <laughs> it helps weigh the car down so it doesn't do a wheelie. <laughs> 
it helps with the filtration. Yeah, something like that. Air going I think that's cabin. my cabin air filter, actually, <laughs> since these cars don't have one. Yep. And there's like a plastic. <laughs> that has been there since before I crashed the car. Really? So my thing is that is staying there for pretty much ever. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's just laying. Oh, here. it's a bumper tab for when I cut the bumper. Oh, oh my God. God, I'm so yeah, used to like wires. It just uh, laying there. Yeah. I thought it was like, <laughs> yeah, I saw that and I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I was, I saw that as soon as I opened the hood too. I yeah, didn't so even realize you got that. Like it went little in there. surprises here and there. Oh, yeah, well, like I said, most clapped car. <laughs> Um, that's yeah, at the end, what of kind of shocks are you running? Stock, uh, they are CVPI struts and coils on okay. the front, so just off of a 2005 CVPI, okay. got them brand new on Rock Auto. Cool, all right, I think that's it. Any oh, junk in the trunk? Nope, your built motor. What uh, are you? My planning? plans is. Um, I want to do a two valve block, that's what I'm currently searching for mm -hmm. with just some pistons, rods, um, and then four valve heads with cams, and that's pretty much it. Okay. High flow water pump, intake, a tune from Marty Ox, but that's far down the list at this point. Yeah. Cool. You take this thing to car shows, cars and coffee? Not meets. really. Um, I don't really take it to meets often. I think I've taken it to maybe five meets since I've had it. Um, I okay. just don't really like car meets, to be honest. Um, I did go to one last week with the car, got a lot of attention. I met someone else with another 05 Crown Vic. Uh -huh. um, but that's about it. I don't really go to meets often or anything. Yeah. And you said uh, around this town, not much uh, Panthers? Not many. Most of them are owned by you know your typical old lady or old man. Yeah. Um, there's a couple with like muffler deletes or straight pipes. Um, it's more so the retired police fix. Okay. Yeah, not many modified ones yeah. around here. I think I've seen maybe two or three. Okay, cool. This is the more Let's close the hood. Let's get into the junk in the trunk. Junk in the trunk. And this is the more um, well, I have it out. Yeah, in this town, this is one of the more commonly known marquees. Um, I forget what Jaguar this is from, but I think it's from an early 2000s xj8 or something that's but it's cool. a jaguar key fob and the internals from the fords fit directly inside of it i think at one point jaguar made some cars with ford with ford yeah i think they were even uh put together in the same plant mm -hmm. like in same mexico or something with, uh, mazda yep but this is my junk in the trunk and not junk but there's definitely stuff in the trunk there's definitely stuff okay. um the exhaust pipe got <laughs> yeah that is actually piece of the, the car <laughs> piece of exhaust that i cut off the other day you can see how uh That's mangled a, it got it, and that was after some time of driving you that, just kept hitting stuff bumps well stuff. i actually have broken my exhaust five times now oh uh, it started off as side pipes and has ended as this okay why well, am i not surprised <laughs> i you shouldn't be surprised <laughs> But yeah, that's okay. part of the exhaust I cut off. Um, tools. Bunch of tools. I got to replace the jack because I do have a bigger jack. That's just two and a quarter ton. Yeah. Um, jump pack, impact, electric ratchet, bunch of tools. Um, 12 inch sub. Don't know what brand it is power acoustic yeah that's yeah it's probably about 10 years old at this point because i got it from my buddy who has owned it before me for like eight years yep and i've owned it now for almost a year still hits good huh still hits amazing nice. uh basic amp that again got from a buddy that is probably older than i <laughs> because it came in his 2004 jetta that was a one owner and he doesn't know where it came from okay so so uh having a car like this i mean i don't mean grand marquee i mean car like yours <laughs> you definitely need the tools <laughs> yeah you're definitely gonna want some tools um it doesn't really break down often because at the end of the day it is still yep. a panther platform can't really kill a four six unless you're trying <clears throat> um so it doesn't really break down often most of the time the tools are used for my friends vehicles actually okay. because they all drive german boxes yeah that's typical the um one thing i will say that's cool i have a factory 2005 spare tire 
Okay. It still has, I haven't flipped around, but it has the white wall on this side still. Nice. Have you ever used it or no? I used it for the better part of a year. Okay. Nice. And it did not blow and it's still kicking. Is Dry rotted some, uh, and all. Over oh, spray on it? Yep. Sat in my shop um, where obviously you spray paint and yeah. all that. So. Yeah, I like how everything is well used in this car. Like, it, it's not a trailer queen. It's, not, nope. you know, showstopper, but it definitely... Every time I drive this car, I make it worse, whether it's intentional <laughs> or not. <laughs> All right, we may cl <laughs> close the junk in the trunk. <laughs> this has got to be the most, uh, the funniest uh, interview we've done so far. Probably, if not... Uh, and not, like, if not fun the funniest, yeah. one of the second funniest. <laughs> but uh, for very funny... <laughs> Gabe is um, a very funny guy. And he's I just being my honest. <laughs> my car's not perfect, but yeah. I love it like it's a hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah. Well, car it's, uh, the personality. Exactly. Okay. Um inside is the back seat where <laughs> honestly I keep a lot of stuff in the back seat. Yeah. I have a camshaft out of a three fifty small block and a TDI Volkswagen Jetta. Okay. Nice. Um some motorcraft oil because it does burn the smallest amount out of the valve cover gaskets. I'm guessing you don't get much passengers in the back here? Not really. Yeah. Uh, typically, if I have someone else in the in the car, they're in the front. Yeah, oil stains. That's nice. And don't really <laughs> care about the back seat. So. Yeah? Okay. Uh, what else is there? Is that a tent or a chair? That is a lawn chair, just in case I ever have to sit down somewhere, because as you notice, I am fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> sometimes I gotta oh, say, man, this I'm guy. leaning right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's honest and he's comfortable about I it. I am yeah, who I am. Cool, this man. is I am me. Yeah. Um, I have a bucket of just stuff that I keep on me, like cleaning supplies, some stickers and whatnot, gloves, um, air filters for both of my cars, and then a bunch of spray paint. Both of your cars. What yeah. else you got? A 1997 Chevy Malibu. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Bit of uh, two weird cars there. Yeah. Uh, let's close this up. Let's go in the front seat. All right. This is kind of clean. I didn't vacuum it out, but yeah. um, like I said, I do have a live data reader there. Okay. That is very handy because as you notice, this car does not have a tachometer. Right. Um, it does have the adjustments and traction control. Okay, yes, GS, uh, what else? Power mirrors, power seat on power the driver's side. Lumbar um, support. Trunk opener on the door panel. Trunk, that's okay, on my 06 I have. So everything here is from like my 06. Okay. Yeah, everything. Interesting. The dash is the same as well. It huh. does have Mercedes floor mats in it. <laughs> It does. Car. It does. They are from a 2007 C230, I believe. Yep, that's Mercedes with Audi badging in mm -hmm. the front. And, and a Mercury badge in the rear with yeah. Crown Vic parts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got uh, LED lights. Uh, yes, I do have LEDs in the dome light. Um, I try to keep LEDs up there just because the regular bulbs were way too dim. Yep. Um, I will say the little drink panel sit? was broken. Go right ahead. Am I going to come out clean? Uh, your pants might be a little dirty, but <laughs> nothing the washer can't fix. That's right. Some tide. <laughs> um, it's a very nice car on the inside. Uh, I don't keep it the best, but I drive it every single day. So. Yeah. Okay. And this is the better car out of the two. This is surprisingly <laughs> between this and my just hit 100,000 mile 97 Chevy Malibu is the better car. Huh. So steering wheel is the same as mine. Yep, I think they changed them in 05. Um, 04 was a different style. And the only thing is the climate control unit is different than mine. Really? Yeah. Huh. I did not think that they would knobs, change that. I yeah. have the digital one. Huh. What uh, is model is your car? It's a LS. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so everything appears the same. That's the same. Everything on the door panel is the same. Identical. The steering wheel is identical except for okay. the gray color. Interesting. And the GS. Yeah, this is a GS. 
Okay, what happened there to your door, uh, the wood piece? I'm honestly not sure how that happened. I was at the laundromat one night taking my door panel apart, and it just snapped. <laughs> at the laundromat? Yeah. My mirror, I was chilling with my buddy, and the mirror, we noticed the mirror was loose, so I tried to take it apart okay. to tighten it up. Nice. Uh, what is head unit are you running or the um, unknown Amazon, Amazon radio that I got from my buddy for 50 bucks and it's probably like a CarPlay yep has Apple CarPlay Android Auto um, Bluetooth capability nice. it is obviously a double din it's touchscreen does its um, job huh it does its job perfectly and I don't think I would really need another one anytime soon as long as it you know keeps doing its thing dash cam dash cam is a mai 70 i believe you have one in the rear or just the front just the front for now okay. um at some point i'll probably put something in the rear but i hardly use that one as it is because it is a pain to get the video off of it okay uh, um okay any future plans for the interior not really just clean it up um fix the drink holder piece and the yep. door panel <laughs> zip ties zip ties Seems holding it on the common theme around this car <laughs> if, it, if you can't fix it with duct tape or zip ties you're you gonna can't need fix a mechanic. it <laughs> then you can't fix it at all it, it pretty right. much yeah okay um wires all over the place on the inside <laughs> yeah yeah i can see from it. dash cam there, there, here uh, here your woofer forward, <laughs> i've got lights down there the live data reader um okay can we actually see the front lights in action yeah how does that um let me find my phone here there okay so it's a uh, wi-fi bluetooth. bluetooth oh that's cool so this is it's an app shout out to sammy Bled, Bledim 2, I mm -hmm. think that's how you pronounce it. You just open it up, it connects. And they're always on? So no. they're always, I mean, con connected to the power source, right? Always connected to the power source, um, but I've never had them drain my battery, okay. and I've left them on for three, four hours at a time before. Uh, you can sit here, go through a bunch of different colors. Oh, wow. One of my things that I find funny is I could uh, have it flash red and blues. Kind of throw so all I off. need is a uh, megaphone for the siren. Yeah. And I'll pull people over like him. <laughs> um, this is one of my normal settings as I'm like out at work at nighttime is it just spans yeah. through all the colors slowly. And at night it's pretty bright. At night it is right now, extremely like bright. Blazing the sun. color is the pink though. Yeah. The... Uh, Let's see where is it at this color right here is typically what i have if i'm driving if not that the orange you don't get any grief from the police here for anything the on your car town cops honestly don't really care around yeah. here um they don't mess with people with modified cars often because a lot of the cops here drive modified cars themselves okay. um it's more of the state police you have to worry about mm -hmm. because they're just as i'm sure every state is they're okay Last thing left to do is, uh, do you have time to go for a quick ride? I do indeed. Let's, uh, let me give you, yep. Liam, you coming along? Uh, I'm in the back seat for the first time. <laughs> Let's make some. Okay, we're going to go on the ride. That thing is low. I think it looks good. It looks good rolling. Yeah. It does look good rolling. It's definitely loud. It's a bit like an F-150. It does. Which surprisingly is still louder than my truck. <laughs> not a bad ride no it's Obviously, not you haven't ridden in more than 10 seconds yet yeah and the, that is loud though it is does it get annoying loud. it gets a little annoying but that's what loud music is for <laughs> that's why i have to sub and a playlist of 1200 songs yeah 
play it louder than the exhaust? Exactly, especially when it was dragging because... <laughs> oh yeah, it just made a bunch of noise, huh? My mom said that she could hear it all the way up the street from our house, and I'm just sitting there, music blasted, and I'm like, you know, I didn't hear anything. We'll loop around into the yeah. mall up here in the parking lot. Like <laughs> Liam, how are you doing back there? <laughs> it's a lot more bumpier back here than it is up there. It is, yeah. This is the first time being in the back seat, so. Okay, so at this point, I will have to agree with your stuff. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's bouncing back there. I will have to agree with your state <laughs> with your statement of the most clapped out <laughs> Panther so far on it's the not channel. Super clapped, but it's definitely the most clapped out so far. The, on my channel, yes. <laughs> on the channel, yes. I have a buddy in Wisconsin who just sold his uh ninety-nine grand marquee and it was so bad, so rusty. I don't think I can turn that way. So bad, so rusty that um, his rear sway bar completely fell out of the car. Oh, wow. Rusted out, huh? Rusted out. Mount's gone. He had no choice but to sell it and bought a Civic, of all things. Oh. I, I grew up with Civics. Civics are good cars. Car. Yeah, I like Civics. I had an 03 EX for my first car. Nice. They're too small for me. <laughs> I think this suits you perfect though. Yeah, this, is, this definitely uh, has your personality. 100%. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, this is quiet. Yeah, it's uh, does bad you, when you're just, you know, yeah, cruising down the road, but as soon as you're on that gas. What about your AC? Does it work? AC work. Did it have to do any of the. No blower motor. Nice. No uh, recharge, no nothing. That works. Heat works. Everything works. Nice. Everything works in here. Um, traction control works. ABS works. People look at you works. weird when you're uh, rolling by? Uh, some people look at me weird. A lot of people smile. Um, that's what I've noticed. A lot of people, if they're driving by, they just kind of look at the car and smile. Not uh, sure what's... Oh, he dropped, uh, he dropped he something. Dropped, oh, oh cards. He dropped his baseball cards. And oh, like the middle of the parking sucks. lot. And they do big trading in here, too. Oh, really? Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is the town's mall here. Um, they used to actually have a store. It was like an antique place, but they yeah. just shut it down. And one of their big things was like baseball cards and football oh. cards. Yeah, they had a comic book store sports store okay oh, not too bad not horrible if you take out all the tools and things like that all the weight it probably rides right really smooth also i could probably fix it if i got new rear shocks not the stock ones with 132,000 miles on true it. probably because those are 100 percent blown at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this turned out to be a really good Sure. Video. Took all the tools out, you'd have a little more weight reduction. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, there's probably like a hundred or so pounds, if not more, of stuff. In yeah, the a couple right of hundred now. pounds in the in uh, here. Cool. How's your alignment after lowering it? Did you have to get aligned? Then I have not had an alignment yet. I am hoping to have one next Saturday. Shut up, dash cam. <laughs> um, I am hoping to do one next Saturday when I do the new wheels. Okay. Um, but that's if my guy has time. Yeah. Because I take this car for like all of its services and stuff. I actually take the car to the Audi dealership. Really? Yeah. Because your buddy works there? My Yeah, my buddy works <laughs> as a mechanic at the Audi dealership. So I need something done. It's just, yo. He got all the tools. Fifty bucks, a hundred yeah. bucks, and he does it. Nice. Okay, so there is a nice uh, Audi badge, Audi shop mm -hmm. uh, relationship. Yeah, and for facts, it shows that it was services out at Audi. So you know. I'll okay, think, yeah, it makes it look good. Confidently listed up ten grand <laughs> as an Audi, and I feel something about it. Uh, I got a Audi name goes too. Yeah, I got a, a parking ticket on my. My grand marquee and the police officer put 2006 lavender colored uh, lavender. Mer Mercedes Benz. What? <laughs> the ticket said Mercedes Benz on it. 
the when I crashed this car in October, it was funny because it was a single car accident. I just it was in the rain, hit a patch, hit a patch of oil yeah. um, around a bend, and just spun. But state patrol came out, and for whatever reason, because they didn't have to, but. The officer looked at me and he goes, the only reason that I came out is because I heard Victoria and thought a girl had crashed. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So the only reason that the cops had came when I had crashed is because he thought it was a girl. <laughs> and it was like, you could tell it was a rookie officer was not much older than me or him. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was ready for some action, huh? He was, he was hoping he could get a number or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and your uh, rear door doesn't work. <laughs> well here let's hook you up back to the mic for your final words <laughs> that was uh gay but what do you call it uh, 2005 crowdy 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 um, definitely an interesting car yes um i think it'll get a lot of a lot of love especially once I fix it up and yeah. make it look good again. Um, like I said, one of the biggest downfalls to this car was 19-year-old me purchasing it and starting modifying it. Yeah. Because hey, that's where we learn. That's how it goes. You buy a car, especially something as indestructible as this, you're going to you're you're wreck it. You're going to bound to do something with yeah. it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank uh, you. Yeah, thanks for your time. Of course. We do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.